when you take a movie like this, how different was it, say, from, and I, I don't know if this is the right movie to use as an example, but I assume it is, like Malibu's Most Wanted, which which it from from the outside looking in seemed like a straight up student, like you went in, you were like, I'm ready to do a movie. And they're like, what do you, I, I, for me, it always sounded like, what do you want to do? And you're like, I got this script. That's what it seemed like to me. Was that a similar, how, is that an ins, a fair insight on how a movie like Malibu's Most Wanted was made? Yeah, Malibu is a crazy experience too, because like, so I, I'm trying to give you the cliff notes. So it's like, <laughs> tell me everything. By the way, that movie, <laughs> that made, movie makes me laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that, Bert. No, but it, I, I, well, no, because you and I, you know, we can have a marathon convo. So I'm trying to give it because we love details. It's, uh, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so how did it work? So I was doing stand up, you know, I was, you know, acting and stuff and doing stand up. And I had done this character. I'd had this character. Boom. I did my stand up. And uh, Nick Swartzen, I was playing a uh, Tempe. And he was hosting and another guy was headlining and he's like, yo, I, I know you, you like that character a lot. And then we talked about it and throughout the weekend. Um, I was like, yeah, eventually I want to make this character into a movie. And he's like, oh, that's a good idea. So like at the end of the weekend, Nick's like, yo, let's hang out, whatever. Give me your number. That's when we met in the late nineties. And so I just started doing well. I bought a house and um, I had a little, guest house and nick would come over a lot we play video games we hang out and he was like yo i have some ideas for your your movie boom he gives me five pages and it's fucking gold and so i'm like dude you have to keep fucking writing he's like all right i'll write like when i feel you know nick yeah he's like, oh, i feel it <laughs> so every every couple of days he'd come over and have five or ten new pages i was like so anyway we started working the script like that and we ended up getting a rough draft of like, he knew the character, boom. So, and then he wrote within a you know, month and a half, we had a script, which was crazy to have, right? And it was really good. Cut to us trying to make it for two years independently. Just producers, Colonels had the money, didn't have the money, blah, 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 blah. Falls apart. I ended up getting my show, the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. B rads on that, and then it gets popping again. So Warner Brothers, the producer was very savvy. And he's like, Warner Brothers movies. You know, I've done a couple parts of movies. I was never the star of a movie, but I was like, you know, co lead. And he's like, let's take a, a project in. I, the timing is right. Yeah. So a lot, everything of this is like not typical, but nothing's really typical in our business, right? Yeah. So then I go. He's like, well, what do you want to make? I'm like, well, I got this movie with Nick because Nick has been on the show and it's like about a rapper and he's from Malibu and he's like, he's like, be rad. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, well, what's this premise? And I'm like, I don't know. He's just, he's just is like, his parents don't want him to act like that anymore. We go to Warner Brothers. We sit in with the president after two meetings and we sat with the president at our third meeting. And he's like, you, this is the movie you want to make. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you know, you don't have the third act. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then my producer's like, dude, he's got the number one new show in the WB. And he's like, great. But you're asking me to green light a movie in eight weeks that doesn't have a third act. <laughs> and the producer's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And so... He's like, all right, I'll call you tomorrow. And it was just, dude, it was just craziness because we, they, they said, if you rewrite the script and you do this and you do that and you can get X amount of actors involved, we'll green light it. So within two weeks, we gave him another draft. We, our first big hire was Tay Diggs. Oh, yeah, Tay Diggs is fucking awesome. Yeah, and then the rest was history. But that's a super, super unique situation because – the studio owned the TV show and the TV show was making noise. And then it was like the producer, Mike Cars, who's he's brilliant. He knew that was like the window. So he went in and I was like, hot. So that, that's one way to do it. Other ways are independent. And then you, 
you pick it up. Other ways are development hell. I mean, there's a yeah. million ways to do it. It's like I, I I see so many movies that are about to go. I had another movie in 1999 uh, with the killer cast. It was me. It was Scott Kahn. It was Paul Walker. It was Jessica Alba. It was Amy Smart. It, I, it was even more people. And it was a, at a movie. It was called, it, I believe it was at the same company where Van Wilder was. I think it was October Films. And we were five weeks out from shooting and then we lost the funding. Really? Yeah, we lost it because it was like, I don't know. It was like, it was like a tax credit in Canada. Wow. So, I mean, it's very hard to get a movie. I mean, David talked to me as is very correct but tvs are too tv i think is 95 percent. i've been told this you know by brad gray god rest his soul you know he great he i had a deal with him in the late 90s and he's like do you understand that tv is 95 percent failure because of all the steps yeah it's like develop it's like bert has an idea then they develop the script demo tape pilot then we if, do they reshoot and then it's like then one then three episodes and six up it's crazy 